Hi folks, this is just yet another falling object question. This time it's going to have to do with a cannonball being shot into the air. The reason it, it originally said a ball is thrown into the air and I saw the answer after working it out and I realized it was way too high. There's no human arm that could throw it that high. So I changed it to a cannonball shot into the air. Um, and this is the equation that they give us, okay? And what we're supposed to do is start off by finding out when it reaches its maximum height. Based on this equation here, we're supposed to find the maximum height. So let's think about a ball being thrown into the air. Um, when it comes to time, we usually start at zero seconds. That's when the ball is thrown or the cannonball is shot into the air. And it's going up into the air and then it's coming down. And there's a chance, it, there's, I mean, the ball doesn't always get shot from ground zero. It could have been shot from up here or up here. But basically, we have an upside down or a, a negative parabola. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this equation now to figure out this maximum height right here. What is that maximum height? Okay, so you start by looking at the equation here. And I have a video on how to get the answer very quickly, okay, using this little formula right here, negative b over 2a. Now that is such a quick way. I will show you that way right now, but then I'm going to show you how to get the answer using the quadratic formula, which takes a little longer. But I just want to show you this way really quick. Negative b over 2a, well this equation here is in standard form. So the a value is negative 4.9, the B value is 39.2, and there's a C value, which is 1.75, but we don't need that for this little equation right here. So in order to find uh, the time that the maximum height would occur, all we have to do is go negative B, which is negative 39.2, over 2 times A. That's like saying 2 times negative 4.9. Okay, 2 times negative 4.9. Okay, so if I took a calculator and quickly figured that out, I would have, now by the way, 4.9 times 2, just to verify, it should be 9.8. There it is. So we have 39.2, that is a negative, divided by negative 9.8. So in this calculator, you have to go 9.8, then hit the negative sign. It just depends on your calculator. And you get 4. Hey, that's kind of nice. So we know that this ball, we know that the maximum height will occur after 4 seconds. Because we just found t. Okay? Now, we use that quick form that I've taught in another video, how to complete the square quickly, or how to do this without completing the square. Um, so I'm going to show this answer also, probably the way your teacher would rather you do it. Um, what you could do is find where the two zeros are. You could factor this thing. But because it's not easy to factor, we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. I have videos on how to use the quadratic formula, so I will assume you've already watched those. If you haven't, watch my video on how to use the quadratic formula, okay? We're going to go ahead and use it right now. So the quadratic formula is starts off with negative b. So that would be negative 39.2. I'm assuming that you have seen the video I have on the quadratic formula, okay? And then you go b squared. So that would be 39.2 squared minus 4. AC, now A is negative 4.9, and C would be 1.75. So you take the square root of all of that, and then when you're done, you divide by 2A, which is negative 2 times, or sorry, 2 times negative 4.9. It's a lot more work than that last little technique I was showing you. But what we're going to do here is find the two x-intercepts, or the two zeros, okay? And then we're going to find what's the middle between those two zeros, and hopefully we're going to get the 4 that we were looking for, okay? So let's keep working here. We're going to need a calculator with this kind of question, and I'm going to hit clear because we had used it previously. So we have negative 39.2 
plus or minus. Let's figure out all this jumble of numbers here. Let's do that right now. 39.2 squared. 39.2, and let's square that. So it's a big number. Minus, now I'm going to put all of this in brackets on my calculator so that I can do this all at once because I'm trying to save time. I'm being lazy. It's 4 times negative 4.9 times 1.75, 1.75, bracket, so I'm ending the bracket, then I'm going to hit equals, and you get that number right here, 157094, and we have to take the square root of this answer, so I'm going to hit square root right now, and you get 39.6, I'm going to round it off, 39.6, and that's all over we know that 2 times 4.9 is 9.8. It would be negative 9.8 on the bottom. So we're going to come up with two answers. One is this plus this divided by this, and one is this minus this divided by that. We're going to get two answers that will give us our two x-intercepts. Okay? Let's come up with those right now. So let's hit clear again. So 39.2, it's a negative plus, I'm going to use the addition first, so plus 39.6, that equals 0 0.4. I'm going to divide that by negative 9.8. Lots of punching in on the calculator. And I'm going to round it off. It would be negative 0 0.04. There we go. Now let's get the other answer. So negative 0 0.04 would be this spot right there. It would be slightly to the left of the 0. That means this thing is being shot, this cannonball is being shot above the ground a little bit, which makes sense. Usually cannonballs don't fly right from the ground level. And then let's find the other answer. So let's use the calculator. It would be 39.2. And if you want to push pause and just see if you get the answer before me, you're welcome to do that. Then I subtract 39.6. Hit equals. Then I divide 9.8, but it's negative, and you get 8.04. 8.04. Now, if you want to know um, what's the difference, or what's the middle, sorry, the middle between negative 0.04 and 8.04, which is right here, if you want to know the middle between them, add these up. Okay, so if you added these up right now, you would get 8. And then divide by 2, and your answer would be 4. So when does it reach the maximum height? The answer would be 4, after 4 seconds. And that would be the best answer to tell your teacher, because teachers like, with word problems, they usually like word answers. So you would write, the cannonball reached its maximum height at 4 seconds. Wow, that was a lot more work than that other way I was showing you. Um, but I just had to show you that quick shortcut way just because it's so much fun. This way here is how most teachers will want you to solve it, maybe using the quadratic formula. Some teachers may even ask you to do something called, and again I have a video on that, called completing the square, which takes something in standard form like this, and that creates what we call vertex form, and it it'll give you all the answers you're looking for right here. But again, it is a lot more work than that that little quick method I showed you right at the beginning. So anyway, there's a few different ways to get this answer. I'm just showing you two of the ways. So what's the maximum height? All you have to do is say, well, at 4 seconds, if I take 4 and plug it into this equation right here, I should be able to come up with the maximum height at that 4 seconds. Wow, that's a nice straight line I have here. But I want to know this value right here. When x is 4, what would y be? Or in other words, when t is 4, what would h be? So again, take your calculator. I could write it out right here if you like, if you want to see that. Negative 4.9. And instead of t, I'm going to put a 4, because we now know that at 4 seconds. Plus 39.2 times that 4 again. So instead of t, I'm putting the 4 there, plus 1.75. This is turning into a real mess. And now I'm just going to multiply this all out on the calculator, okay? 
So let's do that really carefully. So we have 4.9 negative times, now we know 4 times 4 is 16. So I'm just going to go like that. Plus, in brackets, 39.2 times 4 bracket equals, and then plus 1.75 and you get 80.15. So the maximum, 80.15, the maximum height of this cannonball is 80.15 meters. And that's how you would explain with a sentence how you got that 80.15. You'd say, the maximum height of the cannonball was 80.15 meters. When did this happen? It happened when the cannonball was four seconds into the air. Okay, Whew. I would recommend punching this equation into Desmos so you could verify everything I've talked about in this video. You'll be able to see it all really quickly on that free app called Desmos. It's fantastic. Anyway, sorry for numbers that didn't work out beautifully, but hey, sometimes that happens, and in real life, that's often how it happens. So thank you everyone for listening, and have a great day.